Hello YouTube and welcome to Ground Frogs Plays Naval Action. Today we will be featuring Lurikin, as always. And I will be fighting Mercury and Brig. Yes, uh, I'm sorry, this is one of the still 6 rate battles because I'm still sadly Master and Commander. So, and I've already bought the Bell Pool and I will be ready to have a fight on our hands, but I'm waiting to get Post Captain so that I could take on bigger battles with the 5th rates. I mean, you can always take a uh, fifth rate battle, but that means usually for me that I would be taking my trusty surprise or something like that and fighting two Trincomalees or something like that, which is hilarious. It could be done, but it's really, really painful to watch, painful to record. So I'm sticking to my Lerican for the time being, and if I find a good one-on-one -on -one battle with a you know, decent battle rating, then I'm gonna check for the fifth rate battles. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? I mean, uh, I've got the hand to the letter can. This one is fur, fur, so that means that it's actually a pretty much plywood ship, so I have to be really careful in terms of how I use it. <coughs> However, it is armed with carronades, so it packs a pretty decent punch, as uh, these two gentlemen will experience. Yes. Okay, with that being said, let us go and try and see how we can do against these two. <coughs> I'm going slightly to, you know, larboard. And now I'm gonna turn to starboard and pepper this guy with broadside. I'm gonna start firing, like, now. To make sure that he passes through my entire fire. Look at that, 10 to the hull, 1 to the shock, 5 to the crew. Wonderful. It's a good opening and he only returned one shot, I believe, so yeah. I mean, that also depends on him aiming, but Lereka is not a small target. Definitely not a small one, but still decent fight had to be had. Alright. Part to starboard, and I'm gonna continue peppering this Mercury until such time where I have, when I'm satisfied that he will be sinking. I will use the opportunities though to take care of the brig as well. So that's uh, okay. Putting the powering sails and putting the sails towards the wind. Okay, convergence fire. Twelve to the hull, shock to the crew. Wonderful, all of them hit. Now I'm waiting for this gentleman to show, while well, still having my sails pointing downwards. Okay, convergence hundred meters. Shoot, boarding possible. I don't want it, but fire anyway. Mm. Three to the hull. Not ideal, but at least some damage being done. Good. <coughs> I'm also, you know, recording in batches, so it takes a while to actually get back into the game, especially with the Lurikin, it is a fore and aft trigger, so it's easy to steer, but it's hard to steer well, because you have to constantly pay where your sails are uh, pointed at, so yeah, it's a fun ship to, to, to sail, I can tell you that much, oh look at that picture, oh that will be the picture for the episode for sure, right, so, hard to starboard, As you can see, the Mercury's uh, uh, starboard side is almost completely depleted, and I'm gonna co try and continue peppering him. But the problem is, since I have carronades, I have to get in really close. He bought the bait, and he is going straight to me, which will actually put him in irons. But it will also turn him quite nicely. Oh, I was hoping to hit his starboard side, never mind, um, no, hard to starboard, and I'm gonna come from the rear. Fortunately enough, I'm confident the letter count can actually turn. Okay, and now I'm gonna go hard to larboard, and when he turns, hopefully I will be able to broadside him to the death. The only downside of the Lurican is when these uh, sails are shifting, then you lose some speed. Okay, and fire. 
No, wait. Correct. The angle, fire. There we go. Four to the cannon. Well, not the best aiming on my part. I was a little bit too early, but you know. I was a little bit overexcited. Ooh, you don't say. The power sails and come on, come on, come on, come on. A little bit. Fire! Well, at least we've got something done on this side. Hard to starboard. Now I'm gonna reduce the angle towards him. I don't want to be going broadside to broadside. Remember, I have a fur ship. That's essentially like IKEA ship almost. Plywood simulator, so if you get broadsided, it's not good. Okay, my cannons did reload, but these guys did not yet. Will I have turned to larboard? Yeah, I think so. Okay, and he's turning hard to larboard, so definitely he wants to cross the T, which means I should be looking to get out of this predicament. No point of firing from this angle. Hard to larboard. And I'll have to go a bit into the wind as well. And he turned... Okay, this wasn't good. You see, I can, I'm can. i struggling a little bit with sails. And Lodekan decelerates very quickly, so... Now I'm in irons, literally, as you can see. So one way to getting out of the irons is you put these, and then Lodekan quickly enough turns. But I already picked up a broadside, so that wasn't really a smartest move on my part. Fire. One to the crew, okay. Going still for the Mercury. Admittedly, this is taking a little bit longer than I expect because I switched focus on targets. I, I do that a lot and uh, yeah, that's one of my weaknesses. If I had focused him, this guy would have already been dead. But okay, yeah, turn towards me. No, don't turn left. Ah, turning to larboard. Damn you, sir. Damn you, I say. Okay, yeah, and no, okay, uh, then I'll just rake you. Fair enough. Fire. One more. Fire. Make each shot count. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Very nice. 11 to the hull. <coughs> oh, and he hit my pump. You bastard. Okay, that did hurt a little. Okay, let's go for the brig now. Or maybe I'll just go hard to starboard. Let's check. Brig, fire. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the brig because I was in a rather unfavorable position, firstly. Come on. And you, I need to get on your larboard side, right? Okay, let's cross the T. And he is turning, so he will meet me halfway. Good. Let's try and... Oh! Who's peppering? He's there. The bastard. Okay, never mind. Let's turn hard to starboard. Yeah, Lorica is better at... He's not really good. At... It's not really good downwind. So let's go with wind across. Okay, this is gonna be fun. The brig went into the wind, so he's essentially stuck in irons temporarily. And the Mercury is trying to do the same. I will also oblige, but I want to get in the firing position. Come on, turn hard to starboard, you bastard. And he's sailing away. Shoot. No, I'm in irons. And fire. Well, at least some hits on the mark. Uh, you, I want to keep on this side. And fire. Eight to the hull. Wonderful. That went better than I expected because I was uh, healing, I was expecting to miss more. But turns out I had some. So, well, all well and nice in the land of naval action. 
now uh, hard to larboard my repairs are still in effect now let's see I want to go I don't think I will be running uh, I still have plenty of repairs to do and I'm able to sustain damage so I'm not gonna go run this time these two are not matched for my letter count so yeah okay turning hard to larboard and I'm coming on the side of this mercury which has not been hit and I'd like to avoid that so continue hard to larboard oh and he's going backwards and turning perfect perfect no I won't be able to turn in time shoot all right get ready to fire and fire now that's a waste of perfectly good broadside that's how you do it and look at that and th this guy is now coming okay but I need to hit his oh and they hit my barbecue Ooh, my Pleskavica is gonna get grilled a little too early if I'm okay I have uh, 42 seconds for the emergency repair I don't know if the fire is being affected by emergency repair or not that's a good question do you know maybe guys post in the comments if you know right I know it's being affected by the um, survival crews but I don't know if it's affected by emergency repairs we'll have to find out 16 more seconds okay and now I'm gonna give you the broadside that you so well aptly deserve I'm hitting his larboard side I'm not too happy about it but still better than nothing let's the power sails lower the cannons a little bit more lower than than you otherwise I will be missing here we go fire see a to the hull and shock so he did receive a pretty nice broadside from my end I actually might want to repeat that since I've already went away from the first ship I can withstand another, withstand another broadside. Gerard, unlike Gerardo McNeil. Oh, you want to turn your starboard side to me? Please do, by all means. Yeah, actually, I'm turning sails into the wind so that I can decelerate. Oh, no, no, not that much into the wind. Come on. Why am I going backwards now? What the hell is going on? Okay, don't board me don't bore me he had really a good opportunity now fire too late too little too late one to the hull well you pulled that one good sir very nicely however here's a peppering for to remember it two to the hull i'm gonna go hard to larboard and hopefully oh do a broadside to broadside come on do do that do that yes yes do that uh, turning wind into the sails a little bit parallel come on come on come on come on and he's firing and he hit my pump you bastard I have no cannons that can fire go figure story of my life okay let's just turn hard to larboard Gerardo, it's your time to go. Sorry, man. It's your time to go to the David Jones's locker, and I really don't feel like toying with you anymore. Come on, just come over and present a nice, healthy broadside, please. Fire. Still higher, fire. Well, four, four to the hull, six, seven, eight to the hull. Decent. At this range I'm not doing much damage, but then again I don't really need that much damage in the first place. I don't need a devastating broadside that will utterly wreck him, although it would be nice, of course. I need a broadside that will basically suck the life out of him, so... Another broadside from this range, and he's a goner. But I'm thinking maybe it would be even better if I basically take hard to starboard, go and tack in some direction of, say... I don't know, uh, let's say south by southwest, which would be 225, and then 
I will hopefully come. Oh look, they're firing at each other. This is the rich, this is golden. Oh come on, do board each other. That would be nice. Save me the trouble. Kill yourselves and I'll just pick up the upgrades. Th that, that works too. Sure. Thank you. Okay. I'm going uh, starboard and he's going... Uh, I mean, move! Okay, I'm gonna fire here, regardless. Fire. Nine to the hull, one shock, one to the can, one to the crew. crew. Well, this is a good broadside and I missed here opportunity to finish Gerardo McNeil. No matter, I'm gonna go and finish the job manually. And by manually I mean taking a powder keg and a rowboat. Although that would be fun. You know, like in Sea of Thieves. By the way guys, do let me know. I mean, I haven't played Sea of Thieves for a long while and I would like to play it, but the thing is I don't have so much time and... Uh, let me know in the comments, is it time consuming or is it fun? I heard it's fun if you play with multiple, so I have to check with Max if he is up for it, so we'll see. He is up for stationers, that I know that much, but we'll see for Sea of Thieves and how much we can do. I mean, it's a great playing potential, very bad recording potential, because you don't get a lot of stuff done in the time. Right, okay, let's finish this Mercury. It should have already gone to the Davy Jones locker long ago. But, well, bet better neat than ever. Oh, he is turning to me. Oh, 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 do that. Please, please, please do that. Do you mind if I slow down? I just want to basically, you know, utterly destroy you. Alright, yes, just don't board me, please. Perfect, come on, align the shots. Gerardo McNeil, thank you. Wait for it, wait for the fire. And, gentlemen, that's how it's done. Rather, pump Gerardo McNeil is gonna take his periscope and judge the angle on the bow and try to sink me from down below. Right. Bye. Now, time to take care of this brig. It's doing slightly better than I am, but it doesn't matter because, well, I outgunned him like 12 to 7, so... Yeah, it's. I think overall it's gonna be the short rest of the fight. Just have to make sure that we hit the right side. Yeah, 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 you keep firing. There we go, come over, you, you little rascal, you. I really like setting these sails like butterfly effect. I know it's not historically accurate for the Lereka, but it's actually very historically accurate for one of the Clo Croatian smaller ships, which had such similar sails, which is called Falkusha. I do recommend you check it out. And it's spelled F-A-L-K-U-S-H-A, -A, Falkusha. So check it out, it's real, there are some really beautiful pictures of that historical ship. Uh, it's actually a historical boat rather than a ship. But if you look at it with its sails, you know, unfolded, it she looks just damn gorgeous, like a butterfly. There are still a few of these historical ships sailing around and I was able to see some of them this summer. So, yeah, they're just damn gorgeous. I wish I had my phone or camera at that point, because I would have recorded it. Right, pump, hit, and uh, I think it's time we spell demise for Julian Marie Watson. Gun crews reload, please. And let's sail towards her, and yeah. Okay, take to larboard. Hard to larboard now. Convergence 100 meters, ideal. And we'll be firing a broadside like right about now. Oh, seven to the hull, one to the module, and the pump is gone. Oh boy, oh boy, that's gonna hurt. 
Okay, so his larboard armor is gone and the structure is bad. He managed to repair pump a little bit. So I think it will take another broadside to put him to rest. We'll take care of that in a second, shall we? Now, okay, when turning with this one, let's see. I want to turn hard to starboard, meaning that the back sail I shall move into the wind and this, the foresail I'm gonna keep like that. I'm just, uh, I'm every time remembering when I'm sailing this as if these two sails were, you know, paddles on a paddle steamer, for example, and the wind was the water turning them. That really helps me get the right orientation. Alright, this more pass and she should be gone sailing with the fishes. Come on, don't turn. Don't you turn, sir. Okay, come on, a bit more, a bit more. Convergence parallel and fire. There we go. And ladies and gentlemen, that's how it's done. Now, uh, Julian will for so sure sink, there's no question about it, which means we will be wrapping up this episode. So do like if you like the episode. Sorry that it's still, you know, six rates. I wish that I will say have some fifth rate action for you soon enough. But that's enough for me. As always, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get notified when I post a new episode. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Grumpworks, signing off.